I think that anyone entering the profession of teaching comes at it from a place of considering the kind of teacher they would have wanted when they were in school. I see so much potential in the next generation of students. The amount of creativity, empathy, generosity completely astounds me. And I think the role of a teacher should be to call that forward out of these kids. And that is something that I want to dedicate my life doing. I became a teacher because I love working with kids and they really inspire me um, and they're continuously inspiring me to be a better teacher. Hello, my name is Adam Lose. I'm a teacher candidate with the Okanagan School for Education and we are here at the historic O'Keefe Ranch in beautiful Vernon, British Columbia. NOCHA has been in existence since 1984 and we've been offering therapeutic horseback riding lessons to children and adults living with special needs. So my name is Bailey Ennig. I am a visual artist who studied at UBCO, turned teacher candidate, um, and part of my education has been to come here to the Lake Country Museum as part of my practicum experience to help bolster their education uh, resources. My community field experience has been with um, Tob under Tobias and I've been working to create a digital classroom to scaffold some of the learning uh, of the seasons with uh, grade three and four classrooms. A community field experience is a unique opportunity for the Canada interns to experience something different than what they're going to experience um, through the regular education program. It's a chance for them to kind of branch out and, and think of different ways of learning. Here at Brain Trust, we provide evidence-based approaches to rehabilitation and recovery for people who are uh, living with an acquired brain injury or affected by an acquired brain injury. So our services include life skills work, clinical counseling, group programs, and our Neuro Recovery Center. Since this was the first year that we delivered the Skullwise program to third grade students, the teacher candidates helped us to adapt our existing materials to this age group. And they also ensured that we were making appropriate curricular connections for this age group as well. So one of the other benefits for the teacher candidates is that we have a big variance in the age group. Our youngest rider is four years old and our oldest is 73 years old. They come with multiple abilities and disabilities, so something that you might not experience as a teacher in a lifetime, you most likely will experience in the three weeks of your participation in our program. I think a huge takeaway from an environment where you're working with therapy animals and your clients is that you have to learn about what makes a space welcoming and safe for your students. And I think taking that into my classroom and gifting that experience to my students will be hugely beneficial to my practice. I think one of the skills that I'm taking away from my experience here at the Lake Country Museum has been how to use their archives to do research, going through first and second hand materials, and then taking that information and translating it into a format that connects really well with elementary age students in a classroom experience. This experience has influenced my future teaching practice by allowing me to try different di digital technologies that I'll bring with me to my classroom. And the mutual benefits have been great. So uh, the Canada interns bring, of course, their, their passion, right? Their eagerness to learn, their, their kind of openness to new ideas. And, and from us as a district perspective, I mean, it's a chance to really share the powerful things that we're doing with them and knowing that they potentially would be the voice of those, those ideas down the road. We benefited way more than the teacher candidates on this. We're forever grateful for the participation, the energy, the enthusiasm, the passion that they brought on a day-to-day -day basis amped us up every single day. All the instructors, the other volunteers, our riders, the horses. So we are completely grateful for this experience and look forward to a future opportunity.